Yo, 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 this is Mr. O. Yo, 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 this is Mr. O. And today we're going to learn about the length of arc. Um, what is the length of arc? Length of arc is just a portion of the circumference of a circle. Like for example, like me with pizza, when my family eat pizza, my children doesn't like the crust. I like the crust of pizza and that's what I always get. Basically, we're going to try to measure how long is the crust of a pizza. All right, so what is the formula? For us to know the length of arc or arc length, we're gonna use the formula of two pi r. The two pi r is the formula for the circumference times the portion of the angle, the central angle, the theta, divided by T60 because the entire thing is a whole 360 degrees. So remember, this is your radius and the theta here is the key. That's the central angle, okay? So again, the formula for arc length or length of arc is 2 pi r times theta over 360, okay? So let's find the darker, uh, the bolded uh, arc here. Uh, what do we have? We have a uh, radius of 6 centimeter. And we have a central angle of 107 degrees. So for us to find the arc length, we'll say L as the arc length. So the formula again is 2 pi r theta over 360. So 2 pi r is 6. Remember that's in meters. And 107 degrees over 360. We will punch this in in our calculator to get the answer. So we're going to end up with two second array. We'll give it by six times 107. Enter divided by 360. The answer here is the length of the arc is 11.21 meters. Next, if EB is 15 centimeters, find the length of arc CD. So this is the length that we're looking, the length of arc CD. We know that this one here is the diameter. So half of that one is the radius. Um, the e, uh, also EB is 15. So therefore, all of them have a radius of 15. So I know a radius, the radius is 15 centimeters. But we need to know the central angle. The central angle, if this is 180, that's 68. This will give me the central angle that I'm looking for. So that's, since that's the diameter, 180 minus 68 will give me 112. So therefore, this is 112. My theta here will be 112. Applying the formula, 2 pi r theta over 360, 2 pi 15 times 112 degrees over 360 degrees. So 2 times 15 times pi times 112 divided by 360. The answer is 29.32 centimeters. <clears throat> if JH is 21 inches, JH is the entire thing, so therefore the radius is 10.5 inches because that's the diameter gh find the length of kjg the arc kjg or kj you cannot do kj 
D. That's what you need to do there. You cannot do like K, J, and then G back again here. That's wrong. The right way should be K, J, G. So we need the entire angle there, okay? So what do we need to do? First, we need to know the radius is 10.5. We need to know the angles here, okay? So what do we need to do here, okay? Let's see. So I know that this are vertical angles. This is 85. So this should be equal to 85. But that portion is 59. So in order for me to get this central angle here, I have to subtract it by 85. So 85 minus 59 will give me 26. So therefore, this portion here is 26 degrees, right? Okay, so let me erase it again. So I know that this one here is 26 degrees. Now I can find the left over here, this entire thing here, because the entire, uh, the complete revolution or the entire angle of uh, one rev is 360. I will subtract it by 26. That will give me the central angle that I'm going to use here is 334. Because this is 26, this is the portion that is not going to be included. Remember, the angle of the arc KJG is right here, except that portion there. So I need to subtract it by 26. And that will give me the central angle, which is 334. Applying the formula here, length is 2 pi 10.5 times the theta, which is 334, divided by 360 degrees. So 2 times pi times 10.5 times 334 divided by 360, that gives me 61.21 inches. Last problem here, <clears throat> real life application. A 16 inch pendulum swings through an angle of 40 degrees. So the pendulum Swing by 40 degrees here. This is the 40 degrees. So your theta there is 40 degrees. And the pendulum has a radius of 16 uh, inches. How far does the tip of the pendulum travel in a single swing? So we're looking for this portion here. So we're going to apply the formula again, the length of arc or arc length, 2 pi 16 times the theta, which is 40, divided by 360 degrees. And 2 times pi <clears throat> times 16 times 40, divided by 360, that will give us 11 point. 17 inches. And there you go. And that's how you find the measurement of the arc length, or length of the arc here. Um, as always, kaboom.